sports romance, but I'm not sure. Um, I've never read anything by the author. It's Promise Me by Carly Jean, and I'm only like 8%. Then, as you can tell, I read multiple books at once. Um, so, don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but yeah. Next, we have another This is a spicy taboo romance by Lucia Franco called Tell Me What You Want. And I am about halfway through it and I'm enjoying it so far. Then we have Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. First book in the Boys of Tommen series, which I've only read like the first chapter. Continuing on, we have my most recent fantasy read. I have all of these books on both paperback and on my Kindle because I they're huge. They're all like five, six, seven thousand page books. And so having them in both formats is so convenient. So the most recent one I read in the series is Queen of Shadows. Then we have Addicted After All. Absolutely hate this cover. Please ignore the original indie covers. Are not my favorites, um, but this is another big book series. There's like 10 books and I have all the books on Kindle and paperback. So the Kindle version has the old covers, but it's Addicted Romances by Liz Tom Ford. The Windy 
name. 
reason has the updated covers and the other ones do not, but if like you purchase a book, sometimes the covers will update, sometimes they won't. It depends on if you purchase them like through the Kindle store or import them from other book stores. So anyway, then we have Spring Tide. This is a cute little romance that I downloaded from KU based on the cover. I have not read it yet. We have A Merry Little Meet Cute. I got this as a Kindle deal and I'm definitely going to be reading it this month because it's like a Christmas holiday romance. So I'm excited about that. I heard it's quite spicy. Speaking of spicy books, next we have The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. This is a spicy romance about a girl who ends up moving in with a adult film star. Then we have Anatomy by Dana Schwartz. I think this is like a YA romance about a mortuary. I'm not entirely sure, but I got it on a Kindle deal. Kindle deal. Then we have Confessions by Kanae Minato. This is a horror. It's very short. It's like 150 pages. Um, I didn't love it, though. We have Icebreaker by Anna Grace. I'm sure you all are familiar with this sports romance. And there's Losers Part 1, which, as you can see, I did read. Then we have Don't X and Drive by Juliette Cross. I have no idea what this is about. I got it on a Kindle deal. It was like a dollar. Then we have Tangled in Tinsel, another holiday romance. This is like a spicy, spicy one by Drelina Bucci. I have not yet read it. Then we have all of my original Akadar ebooks. So, from Akadar through Akawar, right there, which I have reading logs for all three books on my vlog channel, by the way. Then, another book high on my Kindle Unlimited DBR is Night House by Lee Bardugo. This is a dark academia fantasy set at Yale, and it just sounds so interesting. 
where I love to get my most of my stickers. Then we have this folklore stamp, which I also got on Etsy. Folklore is my favorite Taylor Swift album. Taylor Swift album. And I love the mirror ball because that's one of my favorite songs from the album. And the flowers and the sparkles. It's just so, so cute. Then, speaking of Taylor Swift, down here we have this one, which it says August. And I got this in like a big Taylor Swift multi-sticker pack. And I love it so, so much. I think it ties in really nicely with this one up here. And August is another one of my favorite songs by Taylor. And it's also on folklore. Funnily enough. Then we have another music-related sticker. This one is also from Etsy. It is the Harry Styles inspired Harry's Diner receipt sticker. Um, it's a reference to the lyrics from Keep Driving where he says maple syrup coffee Pancakes for two, hash browns, egg yolk. I will always love you. So I thought that was a really cute design. And then the last two stickers are both book related. First one is from Etsy. Shocker, shocker. Um, this one is book lovers inspired by Emily Henry. It says greetings from Sunshine Falls, North Carolina which is where book lovers takes place. And then we have this one, which says summer camp, honey acres in California. This is the summer camp from Wildfire by Hannah Grace. And this book, or this sticker, excuse me, this sticker came in a book box subscription of mine. So, those are all my 